today's problem from double integration and the problem is by changing the order of integration so that integration 0 to 2a dx into integration root under 2ax minus x square to root 4ax fxy dy which is given by the sum of 3 integration is given here ok we have to prove this that is we have to prove only or we have to done only the change of the order of integration ok now to change the order of integration it is mandatory that we must draw the ranges of the integration in a rough figure ok so we first so we first draw or try to draw a rough sketch of four ranges the range of x is x equal to 0 to x equal to 2a so this is x equal to 0 x equal to 0 means y axis and x equal to 2a right so let it be x equal to 2a x equal to 2a this is x axis right now the lower range of y here we write y this is root 2ax minus x square and this is given by x square plus y square minus 2ax this is equal to 0 and we must have to take positive side of this circle because it is given that only positive this is not plus minus this is only positive ok so we write this circle as x minus a whole square plus y square this is equal to a square and this is a circle with center a0 this is a0 this is the middle point and radius a right so we draw only the positive side of the circle this is our the lower range of the second integration and the upper range is this y this is equal to root ax sorry root 4ax so y square equal to 4ax right this is also the positive portion of the parabola and which is given by if we draw the parabola here only positive side will draw this this is the portion of the parabola ok and if we try to intersection of x equal to 2a and the parabola here we put x equal to 2a then we get y this is equal to root 8 square that is 2 root 2 a ok so this is the point a this is 2 root 2 a sorry this is 2a comma 2a comma 2 root 2 a right and this is the middle portion and it be a comma 0 right now we draw if we draw this is like that then the portion is more clear than the before ok this is the parabola this is the parabola now if we draw a tangent at the point a0 sorry this is not this is not a0 this is a a right then we get our bounded region of the integration is given by is given by into three portion we let this is the first portion let it be d1 and this is the second portion this is we name this is d2 and we get this is the third portion this is the third portion this is we let this is d3 so our integration on the left this is 0 to 2a this is dx and root under 2ax minus x square to root under 4ax fxy fxy dy this is the first integration is i1 second integration is i2 and third integration is i3 ok now 
we form 3 integration 1 by 1. Okay, then we write the final answer at that time. Here I1. I1 is given by the integration over D1. Now we first find the range of Y because we have to change the order of integration. So clearly the value of Y and dy we write the value of y is 0 to a because for this region y is 0 here y is 0 here and y is a here okay y is a here so the value of y is 0 to a and this is dy and now we have to find the value of x and this is f xy dx if we draw a strip along x axis like this, this is the strip and the strip is beginning from this parabola or parabolic arc up and ending on this circular arc. Now for the circle we get here, we get the value of x minus a whole square this is equal to a square minus y square and we get x minus a this is plus minus root a square minus y square and get x equal to a plus minus root a square minus y square and for this circle we get that x equal to a this is minus root a square minus y square for this arc from O to, if we name this is B, O to B and for this arc, we write here, this is X equal to A plus root under A square minus Y square, okay. If we name this is C, for the arc BC, this range we use here and for the arc OB, we use this range. So, we get the order of integration, X equal to on that parabolic arc, which is given by x equal to is clearly we get x equal to from this parabola y square by 4a from here and we get the upper range is sorry upper range is this a minus root a square minus y square this is the first integration we already see that this is the first integration it is given in our course now i2 this is the integration over d2 okay and clearly integration over d2 we first write the range of y y is again from 0 to a okay from 0 to a dy and x equal to we write first fxy dx again we draw a strip along x axis like this okay and the lower range of x on this on that arc so we write the lower range this is a plus root a square minus y square okay and the upper range on that line this is x equal to 2a we draw here x equal to 2a so this is 2a and clearly this is the second integration in our proof and now finally we get i3 this is the integration on the region d3 and here we first find the range of y this is from y equal to a to y equal to 2a here sorry 2 root 2a here okay so the range of y this is this is y equal to a to y equal to 2 root 2 and we write dy and then if we again draw a strip along the x axis to find the range of x, we see that the lower range of x, lower range of x on that parabola. So again we get x equal to y square by 4a and upper range on this is x equal to 2a. So we get here x equal to 2a and this is fxy dx. Okay. Now we write this three integration one by one in case of i1, i2 and i3 and we get our final answer.
very very interesting change of order of integration right thank you thank you for watching